Hey guys, so about a month ago my beloved Brompton S2L got stolen from the back of my car and this was a shitty thing that happened but um, I just got a replacement because uh, I figured well if something you use is fantastic for 10 years you may as well just get the same thing. Um, so I'm just going to go over something that I'd like to share about my Brompton S2L and a few modifications that I think everybody who has a Brompton uh, should consider doing, especially if you have uh, an S-Type Brompton. It just makes the ride so much better, uh, so much more comfortable and more uh, satisfying, if you like. Um, and I'm actually planning to go to the Brompton office myself and tell them, listen, why don't you actually make a bike that is like this so you don't have to go and spend the money on the accessories and the, and the labor to get it done. We're just gonna go through exactly what I've done, all the parts you need, and uh, try and explain why I think this is such a great thing to do, okay? This Brompton S2L is the, the all black model. It's a special edition, and I'll put a link down below so you can see exactly what the basic model is. So the S-Type Brompton, as uh, some of you may know, is the one that has the, the lower handlebars and the lower ride position, um, and a straight handlebar that goes across the side, um, as opposed to the sort of horn-shaped handlebar that you find on the typical uh, the typical Brompton. So this is all black edition, so you've got like the uh, all black uh, steering post, uh, sorry, seat post around the back, um, all black um, brake uh, handles and, and, and all over you see things that are black and it just basically looks um, pretty badass to be honest and, and that's, why, that's why I went for this one. But I want to go over specifically some of the things that I've done to kind of, uh, you know, pimp it up a little bit and, and make it uh, a bit cooler and much more uh, satisfying to ride, okay? So basically, the first thing um, that I put on is this uh, Brooks B17 leather saddle. Um, by all accounts, they take a little bit of time to kind of get used to, um, and they basically will mold to the shape of your butt and last you for, you know, 50 years apparently. Um, I just think it, it looks really, it looks really cool as well um, with the sort of the steel rivets in the back. And then I've also got a a, a Brooks saddle bag on the back. Um, I'll put links to all these on Amazon so you can kind of uh, reproduce exactly what it is. Um, that's basically really handy for like keeping multi-tools in and, and all that kind of stuff. So I think that goes pretty well with the kind of overall look of the bike. Um, you can see down here you've got the like the all black um, pedal uh, cranks and everything like that which looks really good. But what I really want to focus on is actually the what I've done to basically the, the handlebars. You can see here what it is. Um, Normally the S2L handlebars will come right through this tube here and come out and they'll finish approximately seven centimeters below where my handlebars actually are. Um, basically this creates a what Brompton say is a sportier ride position but for my taste I find it a little bit too much hunched over and, and, I, and I find also that the Brompton handlebars they're quite narrow so you sometimes have a, a riding experience which is a little bit wobbly to be honest so um, I'm a huge fan of Bromptons they're, they're an amazing product but I think this is a modification that just sort of blows it you know into a, a whole other level of uh, awesomeness so basically what I've done I've bought this Arbor Hello stem extender I'll put a link down below so you can buy it you have to get it on eBay now I think they're quite hard to get hold of so I recommend that if you're interested go ahead and, and order one of these now before they run out. I think it's the only the only stem extender that you'll find uh, works with Bromptons and if you look at all the forums about basically you know they call them Bromification so the the cult of people out there who who like to you know mess around with their Bromptons this particular part is right up there in terms of popularity okay what this does is it brings the handlebar the stem up basically by about exactly 50 millimeters okay then what I do I bought a 25.4 millimeter eight uh, MTB riser bar you, you can buy that online um, I got mine on eBay I'll put a link down below to exactly the one it was and basically this gives you an extra rise of about three centimeters right so you can see the slight upward curve there it's nothing like the Brompton uh, M type or, or H type little uh, which I find a bit ugly to be honest but uh, this gives you just that little bit of extra rise so with that combined you got a you got a basically a rise of about seven centimeters based on uh, what a normal s-type would be 
which for me makes all the difference. The other thing I've done, I do not understand why Brompton put those crappy foam handlebars on um, their stock models. It, to me it's just, uh, I mean, there is, it, it's an expensive product, it's a great product, but why not just put some decent handlebars from uh, grips from the start. I've put these uh, fantastic uh, rubber sort of ergo grips on there, um, they're all in black as well which kind of fits in with the overall kind of uh, all black theme of the bike but they're really they're really grippy they're really satisfying to hang on to um, so that's absolutely fantastic I'll put a link down to exactly which one I got as well um, because you know what I'm trying to do is make it easy for everybody else who's interested to actually just do this exact upgrade without having to sort of do the research about which parts work and which parts don't so all the details will be down below okay now so if the handlebars are higher and wider I guess you might be wondering well does the thing actually um, does it fold up because that's the the biggest uh, selling point of a Brompton so I'll, I'll just show you quickly um, how it folds up so you can uh, satisfy yourself that it, it works perfectly fine so here's the bike in its uh, folded position and as you can see the the left hand handlebar right there is literally right on the ground and that's actually um, it's actually a good thing because it makes the it makes the bike much more stable um, laterally in a folded position while it's standing up so I wouldn't worry about that at all what you do have to do obviously is make sure that the that it's not too that the handlebar is not too wide otherwise it's literally not going to manage to hit the ground okay so basically I will give you the exact width of my handlebars so you can actually tell um, the, the the shop where you get this done please cut this handlebar to, to this exact size and there you, you should be good um, but any bike shop you should be able to tell them listen I want I want to put the the riser bar on with the stem extender and I want it just to touch the ground and, and that's the key okay the only other thing you have to do in terms of parts so you need the the, the, the bar itself you need the the stem extender and then also you need to basically get the H type cables and I'll put a link down to those as well so you need the H type brake cable and gear cables um, the H type is the, is the the Brompton high handlebar obviously you need longer cables because you're moving the whole thing up um, other than that it's literally uh, it's as simple as that and I took mine all the kit I got it online and I took it to a fantastic place I'll put a link down below as well called Skinny Eric's which is just outside the Olympic uh, Olympic Park in in London and they they did the whole thing for about 40 pounds um, and they did a great job of it so I definitely recommend those guys if you're in the London area that they're, they're a fantastic uh, bike outfit they're kind of like much more of a boutique uh, rather than the, the standard chains on the high street so uh, it's really a simple job it took them about an hour to do um, but no matter where you are in the world if you can buy Bromptons and if you've got access to online shopping I couldn't recommend this enough um, it just makes the, the ride even I would say such such a better experience than than a uh, than a normal S type or M type or H type. So I'm go I'm going to be going to Brompton and saying, can you please build an S type with the straight handlebars that has a higher bar? But until then, do this upgrade. If you've got an S type, you won't regret it. I promise. Thanks for watching.